In this video, I'm going to create a new bass line for the final section to help bring some closure to the track and our 90 day journey. First, add a new keyboard track and then change the instrument to the P bass. In this final section, delete the original bass line. The new bass line begins on an A and has more of an A minor tonality. The same two chords are used the superimposed bass line descends from A down to D and then works back up to G. The combination of the original chords and the new bass line creates some new, very complicated chords. But I really just used this bass line because it sounded right. To help to broaden and deepen the sound, we'll double the bass line using the dark heavy synth bass and the arpeggiator. We also need to edit the final chord over the G bass note. Tap on the waveform for this section and then tap edit. Then drag the E note in the chord up to F. We'll then duplicate section A which will form the final section and fade out. Delete the guitar and the original bass line from this section. Then record a low C note on the bass. We then need to record one final C chord to finish the track. Rather than play the full chord, I'm just playing two C notes and a G. To help create some drama and a sense of build up, we'll also add the dark heavy synth bass using the arpeggiator during the quiet piano section. Just play a low C note, but slide slowly upwards on the key to filter the sound. So in our next, final video, we'll listen to the full track and bring our 90 days to a close.